Justice Frederick Pokusa Akodie was born in Koforidia on August 26, 1927. He was educated at the ECM school, Koforidia, and left at the age of 19. He then continued to the Adisadel College from 1943 to 1948, where he was a house prefect. He passed his O-level examinations with distinction. In 1948, there was a college strike in protest against the arrest of the Big Six by the colonial administration in the struggle for independence. He was rusticated as a result of the strike. His father employed private teachers to prepare him for his advanced level examination, which he passed in flying colors. In 1950, his father sponsored him to go to Sierra Leone, where he studied successfully at the Fura Bay College. He then went to the United Kingdom in 1954 to pursue legal studies. He was admitted to the Honorable Society of the Middle Temple in 1959 as a student and completed his course in two years. He immediately returned to Ghana and joined the office of the Attorney General. He rose quickly to become a senior attorney in 1966. He was elevated to the bench as a High Court judge in 1971 and he discharged his functions with distinction. Justice Poku Sakodie was not a person who was bound by unbending conservatism for its own sake. He was not afraid to explore and expand the frontiers of the law. As far back as 1976, before the Interstate Succession Law 1985, which gives protection at customary law to a married spouse had been enacted, Justice Sakodie sought to give protection to a wife who contributed to the estate of her deceased husband. Justice Poku Sakodie, in the celebrated case of Abrebese versus Ka, 1976, to Ghana Law Report at page 46, had the opportunity to consider the interest of widows and children in the estate of the deceased husband, where the widow had made a substantial contribution to the acquisition of her husband's property. At page 54 of this report, he says, will it be right to say that a wife who had her own property and who had made sacrifices and such massive contribution towards the construction of a house is to be deprived of the fruits of her labor and stamp what she did as mere assistance to her husband and hold that she has no claim to the building, surely good conscience alone will not permit that. Again, in the case of Ado versus Ado 1973, two Ghana Law Report at page 103, a divorce matter, Justice Sarkodia expanded the boundaries of unreasonable behavior when he stated that persistently refusing a young wife sexual intercourse over a long period constituted unreasonable behavior such that the wife ought not be called upon to endure it any longer. Justice Sarkodie also delivered the judgment in Ghana Commercial Bank versus Tabri, 1977, one Ghana Law Report, 329, one of the well-known cases on the setting aside of a default judgment. Justice Sarkodie, who was married to Yvonne, had five children. He was a quiet yet very sociable gentleman and a leading member of a number of clubs and societies. He was also a keen golfer and tennis player. Fred, as he was affectionately called, is remembered with affection and respect by anyone who came into contact with him, both professionally and personally. In the forecourt of the Supreme Court stands his bust and below it is inscribed, Justice Frederick Pokusakodie will be remembered as the cool, calm, and collected gentleman that the very embodiment of courtesy, hard work, being fair and firm. He exhibited 
judicial taciturnity and versatility. He was committed to his family, work, and God. May his good soul rest in peace.